I used to be a huge self-improvement masturbator. I never understood the point of doing these good habits and I was just doing it for the ego, to make my ego feel better, to make myself feel better, to tell my friends that, oh, I read 10 books this week and oh yeah, I meditate for 20 minutes. But now I realize that you do need a purpose for doing all these good habits. You can't just do good habits without a reason. I originally heard the quote, self-improvement is masturbation from Paula Dorton in Fight Club. And in this video, I'm gonna explain why self-improvement is masturbation. Now your tiny little brain is probably saying, but you just said that doing good habits is bad. You just said that reading is bad. Look, no, I did not say that. You just don't understand me. What I mean is that habits don't make you and you need a deeper reason for doing good habits. You need a purpose for doing them. For example, if you're trying to be a programmer, you're probably not gonna be reading books on art because there's no point in reading them. It's not gonna help you. It's just gonna boost your ego and you're gonna feel better because you read one more book, but that book didn't actually bring you any value. Why would you do things that don't align with your purpose? What I mean by this is that you should only be doing things that actually benefit you and that bring value to your life and that add to your purpose, bringing you closer to completing that purpose layer. Now, obviously, you shouldn't stop reading books and doing all these good habits, but you should read books and do good habits the right way and read books that actually benefit you. Most people do self-improvement wrong because they don't have a deep meaning to actually do it. They don't have a purpose. They just read these books because, oh, daddy hums that told me to read a book and reading is good. Oh my God, my Lord Hamza. They're pointlessly spending their time reading and not actually taking any action on the information they took in. They're reading random books that hubs that told them to read or that Andrew Tate told them to read, but those books don't actually bring them closer to completing their purpose. Purpose is the absolute root of everything and every action you take needs to bring you closer to completing your purpose. But that's a whole topic for a whole nother video. There has to be a deeper meaning behind doing everything or else you're just thinking very shallow and mentally masturbating yourself. Due to a certain person's influence, I won't say any names here, but many of these kids are getting the idea that self-improvement is only about money, fame, bitches, and everything. These anime chicks, you're gonna make, you're gonna get so many anime chicks. You're gonna get all this, but that's just thinking shallow. Self-improvement is about working towards your purpose and discovering yourself. Having a purpose will absolutely skyrocket your self-improvement because you'll actually have a reason to do these good habits and to actually improve yourself. For me, my purpose is to be a role model for teens like me or like kids around my age, especially my brother. I want to be his mentor and that's what keeps me driving and keeps me disciplined. Hamza is a disciplined guy, you know, he's hardworking, but the thing that sets him apart from everyone else is that he has a deep purpose and the purpose for him is helping young guys so that they don't go through what he had to go through. Once you have a purpose, you'll actually have a reason to self-improve. Look into yourself, discover that purpose, and your self-improvement will absolutely explode. Now, I hope you found this video valuable and maybe you even learned something new, who knows? But comment down below and I'd like to hear some of your philosophies and I hope to see you in the next one.